myself, Dr. Ranjit Kumar Agarwala. I am a consulted pediatrician and pneumonia specialist in IHR Guwahati. So today I would like to highlight some important points about baby's skin care, which is most important and every mother, in every caregiver should know. Uh, so today I am talking about the term newborn baby. Term baby means those who have completed 38 to 40 weeks of gestation and their birth weight is more than 2.5 kg. So even those babies who should keep birth easily after the umbilical cord falls off. That is, you can assume it at after 10 to 14 days of age because the umbilical cord takes time, 7 to 10 days to fall off. So after 10 to 14 days, you can give birth to the baby. So how to give birth to the baby? The birth should be gentle and not only mother, any caregiver or both the parents can give birth to the baby. So for the bath, bathing of the baby, the room should be warm. The temperature of the water is very important. Uh, it should be around 37 degrees centigrade. If you are giving bath, tub bath, the water level should be around 5 centimeter from the bottom. That the heap of the baby should be in the water. Uh, regarding there is more confusion about in, regarding about the cleansers, soaps, what to use. This is most important point. Ideally, in uh, babies who need we don't need soap, we can use liquid cleanser and the most important point about is that the pH of the cleanser or soap should be well known to all the mothers. There are lots of commercial preparations available, you can use them but you should see the pH of the ingredient. The pH should be 5.5 or less than that. So some scented bars are now available, we can use that. So this is about the bathing of the baby. Uh, second point I would like to highlight about the care of the diaper area is most important because now there is a tendency of using the ready-made diapers and that may cause rashes. So it's better to use cloth napkins which are available in every household. It should be changed frequently and of course you can use the diaper commercially available at night or wherever you go for travel. So before that you can apply some diaper rash cream containing zinc oxide. There are lots of preparations are available in the market. So you can use them. So this is this about the diaper area. Uh, third most important point about skin care is care of the umbilical cord. So umbilical cord uh, care is that it should be kept clean and dry. Clean means nothing to be applied. If you want to clean, you can clean with lukewarm water and it should be kept dry. So this is most important because most of the infection enters through the umbilicus. So umbilical cord should be kept clean and dry. Fourth important point about skin care is care of the skull. So there are lots of confusion regarding this also, what shampoo to be used, point to be used. So for skull cleansing, skull cleansing should be done twice in a week. So some commercially available shampoos are available, that those are suitable for baby, that, is, that can be used. And sometimes what happens, there is a thin layer of uh, crust deposited in the skull, that is known as cradle cap, that is the most common condition. Almost 90% baby used to develop this condition. So for that, for those babies, you can apply the shampoo, again, uh, you can remove the crust. So there should be gentle washing of the his skull twice in a week and regarding some points about oil massage of the baby the massage is a form of therapy that is known as touch therapy there are several benefits like if you give massage the mother and child uh, bonding increases the growth of the baby increases then baby's uh, appetite increases so massage is usually with coconut oil or some mineral oils those are commercially available you can use and massage should be done in summer before bath and in winter massage should be done after bath.